Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity on behalf of StarCast TV. Bottom right hand corner, we have Snow starting as the orange Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Queen starting as a Queen Tube starting as the white Zerg. This is going to be on Shakur's Plateau, which I have not seen in a bit of time, so figured I would give the map highlight. Na kind of a standard four player map that, true to its name, has a lot of plateaus, which are the interesting features, kind of the general high ground spaces. One big problem for Protoss, I think, is the power with this wide natural expansion and somewhat exposed uh, bases past that of early hydralis pressure in the form of 973, things like that. But it'll be interesting to see what Snow comes up with. Queen, it just feels like he's been a wild card recently with the various build orders. He's the master of the 9734, though. Looks like he is going to opt to open up with a 9 pool. Which, honestly, considering... So, I think another match I casted for StarCast EV, you saw how vicious Snow's probes are. Looks like he's going to open up Gateway first at the Natural Expansion. Which means he's going to need to be on the defensive early against on the defense early versus these Zerglings. Saying out a probe scout, he is going to get first scout at the very least to know what he's up against. But early Zerglings can really create havoc. Drone coming out, Snow doing his thing. Man, the, the probes are just like, they're both vicious and spastic on Snow's part. <laughs> you can just see the disruption and go into work don't even care about these Zerglings being built. Other thing about Snow is he just has that the laser eyes to be able to just make his way back into the line and find that weakened and damaged drone. You just have to assume you're going to take some initial economic damage until you've got some sort of worker out. In the meantime, Queen going to scout, see the initial zealot pressure, has the drone on the line, wants to go ahead and potentially delay that initial zealot, the zealot pulling off the corner and that drone mixing it up. So it's going to be an early game worker fight. So the probe trying to delay the zerglings and doing a really good job of it. The drone trying to peck away at the zealot before returning to home base. So it's going to be low on health. The zerglings make their way across. It looks like the zealot not in time. The probes weren't there to blockade. It looks like they are going to be able to blockade the ramp at the very least. Second zealot out, but one probe down. Second probe down. Queen able to get two Zerglings in, and that is going to be a big frustration down the line. Three probes trying to engage, but another probe taken out instantly. So a decent amount of economic damage done there. Natural expansion coming online. Queen grabbing a third base as well. Looks like two probes pulled off. We're able to clear out one of the Zerglings, but still Zergling creating additional harassment. The two Zelts streaming out to maybe get some additional damage done rather than bothering to protect their front door now that, those Zer now that the Zergling threat has been slightly mitigated. However, more Zerglings being produced to go ahead and potentially engage this. They're going up to the 9 o'clock location, though. Now that that's been spotted, maybe they can force a cancellation right there. Six Zerglings moving their way across. Yeah, Snow doing a good job of backing that Zealot out. So two Zealots engaging at the 9. Six Zerglings going to engage with a bit of micro that's a losing battle but two more zerglings coming up to provide some flank and snow now going to go ahead and sneak that one of the zealots back into that defensive posture to get a little bit better an engagement point fortunately two zerglings can still attack the zealot looking to sneak into that natural expansion more zealots making their way across natural expansion is online or is making its way online for snow two zealots marching in with that probe, mighty probe. The Zerglings having cleaned up that threat at the nine o'clock base, scrambling, but see if drones get taken out in the midst of this. They're huddling up to maybe go for a drill. And rather than bring those Zerglings back, Queen actually saying, okay, I don't think you have defenses on your front, looking for a counterattack, producing more Zerglings on the front. So just pressure every direction. They are here before that cannon's morphed in. There's only a Zealot and a Probe there to defend. The Zerglings trying to poke away. 
But some nice exchange of the probes going to keep them alive. The Zerglings still able to slip through, though. So three more Zerglings now in the main. However, I was going to say there is a bit of a drone deficit after all these shenanigans on Queen's part, but I'm instantly throwing out, now that things are somewhat safer, a full, roan, uh, a full cycle of drones and very quickly catching up in that worker count. Stargate morphing in. Zerglings trying to harass that gas. More Zerglings staging up towards the front. Maybe they want to try to shoot the gap once again, despite the cannon being there. This is a crazy one to start. Hard to keep up with everything happening all over the place. Tech delayer. There's been a considerable delay. Though on Queen's part, to make his way, he sees that Stargate timing. I'm curious if he's still trying to going to try to make his way. Ooh, able to pick off a probe there. I wonder if he's still going to try to make his way towards four hatch play. Looks like a hydro stand being built, potentially out of necessity to deal with the Corsair. Dragoon trying to chase these Zerglings down. Bit of a yakety sax moment here. The Zerglings might be able to get an additional probe kill. Not quite though. Still creating a lot of pressure here in Snow's base. First Corsair making its way across. Fourth hatchery being dropped on the front. Hydralisten is there. And there should be a Hydralisk or two to deal with that Corsair. Dragoon finally cleaning up those Zerglings and securing things on Snow's side. Plus one weapons on the way. This Overlord exposed towards the front. The rest you can see fleeing as the Hydralisks not in position to provide defense as of yet. that will put Queen into the red and slow his economy down. And with that, the Zealots marching out, they might be able to take an yet another shot here at the 9 o'clock base. Honestly, has there been a location where there hasn't been a Zealot or Zergling yet? Zergling's pulling their way back. Hopefully, they'll be able to spot these troops. More Corsair moving out. They're going to be able to walk up and confirm that there's very paltry defenses here at the 9 o'clock. Corsair doing its work against the Overlord. Zerglings here. But it looks like, yeah, some additional Zerglings being created by Queen to engage. Zergling speed is online, trying to hunt down that Dragoon. Another Overlord getting picked off by the Corsair in the meantime at that 9 o'clock base. Overlord speed being upgraded. And Hydralis range being tacked on as well. So crazy action all over the place on the map thus far. Zerglings trying to dance with those troops. Just keep an eye on them mid-map, I presume. Plus one weapons just about to hit for Queen. I don't think he's going to make any movements with it, though, because there's sufficient amounts of Hydralisks and Zerglings out in the field for Queen. Just as needed, a larger troop count consistently throughout this match. Six gateways back here. And is Queen going to make a punch at the front with those troops out of position? Corsair is again checking that 9 o'clock base. There are Hydralists there. They've mostly been able to, yeah, sneak out of range, working on that forge. Zealots there from the rear. They do not have speed as of yet. Maybe underestimating the amount of troops right there, because engaging and immediately pulling back out, the Hydralisk is now going to peck away, try to do what they can, being pushed back, however, by the rest of the troops. So not a moment's breath thus far, but finally things stabilizing a little bit. Templar Archives just warping in. Queen starting to field a larger Hydralisk force on the front to help defend a lot of these bases. Plus one weapon's about halfway finished. Engaging Zealots midfield. And honestly getting pinned to that corner wall. So the Zealots getting some good damage for their numbers. Now backing off with reinforcements making their way in. Going to flee to the north. Ninja attack force to the south as well. 
So it looks like they might try to peek through and attack this natural expansion. Not a lot of defenses here, as everything was engaged in the middle of the map. Not even... For a second there, I was going to say, not even going to bother here at the natural. It looks like they are going to try to engage now. So Snow able to get some sneaky zealots all the way across, while the Hydralisks and Zerglings scrambling to get back. A lot of drone kills and disruption here. Gas interrupted. Two bases basically no longer mining for this period of time. So nice damage there. Overlord being sacrificed just to kind of check out what's happening at the front. And the Zealots, I was expecting them to get cleaned up by now, still running around in the base. Huge amounts of harassment. Ventral Sacks being upgraded, potentially for drops. For a follow-up, maybe that could be an X factor here for Queen, because right now Snow dominating him. Up 30 supply. The problem with going drop at this stage is if you drop, get caught out of position, and Snow has an army pushing into you, you're not going to be able to get back and defend before you get completely wiped out. I don't know, maybe a skeleton crew of Hydralis dropping on the rear. Maybe a lurker drop, something along those lines could make it happen. However, in the meantime, nice side drop draw, uh, dodge at the 9 o'clock. Zealots being walked back Decent size storm over the bridge. The Hydral's force now sitting behind that Sim City, allowing the Zealots to funnel in momentarily. Plus one weapons is there, but the Zealots also have that plus one armor. So doing pretty well exchanging against these Hydralisks. Trying to chase down what's there, and Overlord looks like it get, might get taken out as well. Three o'clock base being grabbed. And we are seeing, yeah, some lurkers. And I like that Queen, up to this stage, has not fielded a single Lurker to reveal this. It looks like Snow spotting it. Is he going to get the troops back in time? Observatory just now morphing. Zealots trying to engage. One Lurker dropping and is able to burrow. And the Observatory's right there. So Probe's taking damage and also a big counterattack moving in. Towards the 3 o'clock location, so the Zealots are going to have to engage. Probes now getting obliterated. It snows turd to take massive damage. And with that, down to 21 probes. Looks like finally an Observer able to take the field. Psystorm eviscerating the Hydralisk force, though, at the 9 o'clock. A lot of desiccated corpses left on the ground there. But giving a huge amount of breathing room, Queen now with a sizable economic lead. Two lurkers still standing on the interior of Snow's base. Hydros look like they're going to be able to go ahead and pick that Corsair out. Now the continued drops could be a big problem. Because Snow, behind in supply, needs to resaturate his bases. Needs to somehow defend three different locations overlord taking a very weakened lurker trying to get another drop is able to drop in the line that's going to pull those probes back and there's another attack force potentially staging here at the six o'clock that overlord watching the bloody remains of that lurker another drop however moving in now assailing the nexus nexus is gone So if the economic situation wasn't bad enough, now Snow back to two bases. And Queen just scooping those troops back before Snow is able to respond. So that Hydralis force going to live another day and be potentially a threat somewhere else out on the map. Additional hatcheries being tacked on. Great saturation, 40 workers, 39 workers. 38 workers, as I say that. Plus two weapons about to come online. Snow moving out with an attack force, I think more out of necessity than anything. I think recognizing that his economy has been really hurt. And he needs to slow Queen down. Losing some troops to the north. 
has at least two Psy Storms that should be available, careening into that natural expansion. This could be the last hurrah for Snow. Lurker's not yet morphing. Big Psy Storms on the Hydralis trying to reinforce from the third. Big Psy Storms on the Lurker lines as well. Going to be able to clear them up and some beautiful Psy Storms from Snow obliterating these attack forces. But it does not look like it's going to be enough. There's GG from Snow and Queen with some fantastic play. Catching Snow out of position and taking the match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.